welcome to the Webasto booth and in the Webasto Marine booth at uh, Metz. My name is uh, Donny Mel. I am uh, leading the marine group at Webasto. I am the president of Indel Webasto Marine. stands for Variable Speed Chiller Technology, controlled by inverter. So the V50M is the first of a series that we will introduce later on in the market, the V-Series, which is the Variable Speed Technology Chillers of Webasto. This technology is being used for quite some time already in the residential applications, and we have made the first, one of the first implementation of this technology in the marine, and I would say a smart one. Many. I think uh, IBEX Award recognized a lot of uh, unique features on the v V50M. Some are related to the technology itself and some are related to the smart implementation of the technology that Webasto achieved with this unit. So regarding the features linked to the technology itself, we have um, the first one is V as variable speed. It means that the compressor can start at a very low speed. The consequence for the end user or the boat owner is that uh, we don't need any uh, a high current and high gen set to start the unit. We need only 2.5 amperes to uh, start the unit, so no starting peak, basically. The second uh, big advantage is that uh, this unit is independent from the frequency and the shore power input. Whether you are in the US or you are in Europe, 50 or 60 hertz environment, uh, this is not uh, bothering the unit. The unit will just adapt itself and work as it should be. Then linked to the technology, these uh, variable speed compressors are very compact, very light. So the unit versus a traditional chiller unit is uh, somehow 30 or 40 percent uh, less uh, li lighter and uh, more compact. Also a big advantage linked to the technology. Now if I look at the uh, advantages uh, on the way we have implemented the technology into the marine industry, I think with the V50M we have added a lot of uh, nice features. The, the first uh, uh, unique feature of the V50M versus the competition is that we have a very wide modulation range. The unit is modulating from 50,000 BTU down to 8,500 BTUs. The consequence is that the unit never stops or rarely stops. Uh, keeping uh, stable humidity and stable temperature in, into the boat. So on top of the generic features which are related to the technology, Webasto has implemented a lot of new um, nice features uh, thought for the marine industry. We have, for example, uh, the unit is condensate free and very silent. With this technology, there is a lot of software, a very proactive, uh, we have a very advanced logic and one another feature that we have added, for example, is that we can have some preventive maintenance. The boat owner um, may, is alarmed via the display about a possible uh, problem on the seawater flow, which is a very common problem known in, by the marine uh, about the air conditioning units. The strainers are not clean enough, the thrill is clogged by some... Uh, some dirt or whatever, uh, the unit will detect it in advance via a smart recognition of uh, high pressure patterns and will tell the boat owner, hey, be careful before your unit gets into trouble, go and check the uh, sea water inlet uh, system. Actually, we started the development of this V50M unit based on some uh, recognized uh, issues made by the boat builders. At the moment, boat builders are not building anymore on stock, but they may build some boats on stock and then they, without knowing the sales destination of the boat. Crisis in Europe, better market in the US. The, some boats initially developed or fit, fit for Europe may be actually going to the US. Having a high cost for the boat builders, they have to refit the boat. 
So there is a tendency to try to have some worldwide standardization of the boat so that whatever the CES destination is, they can uh, take them from the, the, the build stock. So one of the main objectives of the V50M was to have one version fits all. A boat builder is installing the unit, he doesn't have to care about what will be the sales destination, the shore power it will encounter, the climate. The unit is self-adapting, self-adapting to the current, self-adapting to the climate. As the unit modulates, the, the, if you are in a tropical environment, very hot water, or if you are in the Scandinavia, the unit will, basically you don't touch it, it's a no-worry unit. Second big advantage uh, is that this is a unit which is easy to install. As I said earlier, it's smaller, more compact, so it's more flexible to install. The, the, the electronic box is detachable, so you can put it another place in the boat. And um, um, it has a very, we have uh, complied with very high EMC standards, uh, marine standards, so that uh, you can position the unit wherever you want on the boat, close to marine navigation. So this is a very important element of the unit. So the third main advantage is financial. Even though the compressor, this technology are more expensive, if you look at the total cost of ownership of this unit, it's actually quite attractive. Because you can downsize the genset, you can, uh, so which is giving a value to the, to the boat builder, you are having low service costs. This is, as I said earlier, no worry unit. So this is also some cost for the builders when the end user have a problem, have changed the parameters here. They don't touch it. The unit adapts. Globally, if you look at all the costs, service costs, system costs, uh, installation costs, no condensate drain to be attached, the unit is uh, financially very attractive for the customer.